Part 5. Changes in XML on your custom build setup on your Aonox skin on Cody. And a big thanks to Wolf Sili on the Total XBMC for sharing this information. And don't forget to look at Cody.tv for more information. What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. And this is part 5 of the Do It Your Own Aonox custom skin on your Cody setup. And you've done the installation of Aonox, you've uh, done the menus, the submenus, you've actually put all your backgrounds to the way you like it, and you've actually installed the backup um, program by Mikey1234 inside the Azunity Talk repository. Now, the reason why I highly don't recommend you just backing it up just the way it is that you've had it before, you got to remember that your Cody, unless it's a fresh install, then it'll be a small file. But if you've had Cody or XBMC for the longest time, you will back up at least 500 megabytes to a one, uh, one gigabyte uh, file into your backup. Now that will be a little harder to 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 um, put on another device because it's such a big file. And the reason, and the other reason is um, you actually want your backgrounds to show up instantly rather than you having it putting it yourself because the different platforms if you're jumping from a Mac and then you're putting it on a Windows and you're putting your build on an Android or um, iOS tablet so this is a, f um, a tutorial that actually uh, Wolf Slee from T Total XBMC uh, came up with so big ups to him uh, for for showing uh, you could go on his YouTube if I don't explain it as, as good you'll be able to go on his YouTube. It'll, all this information will be down below in the description. So, now that you have uh, all your XBMC or Kodi all good the way you want it, we're gonna go, uh, I'm on a Mac right now. Uh, it might be different from yours. Right, I'm gonna go to uh, to my um, XB, uh, Kodi folder. So you're gonna see all these files right here, uh, add-ons, media, sounds, and system, and user data. What you're gonna really focus on is uh, user data. Now, if you have uh, builds uh, with your logins and all that, and you don't want people to actually use it, then uh, this is a way to actually do it. If you go to add-on data, and then whatever, uh, let's say like, for example, you have uh, offsite streams or um, sports access, you could actually like if this was sports access you just got to go ahead and delete it so that means the your login won't be there at all if you don't want to share it but if you're fine with it then just leave it the way it is so the first thing we're gonna do is look at um, sources you know go ahead and open that with any um, XML file reader and that you could actually edit I have mines on sublime text and I think I'll have all the information if you're running Windows then you could do it this way. Let me cancel that. So this is what you'll see right now is um, all the repositories and there's no no nothing that I need to actually um, change on this so I'm just gonna exit out of that and we're gonna go ahead to uh, profile open with uh, sublime text and then nothing on that as well now the big one is the uh, GY settings you go to go ahead to that oops ah sorry about that and then click on this now this I know it, it seems like it's a lot of coding and all this other stuff uh, don't be frightened um, it's really easy to do with this uh, program or any program that you could use XML on what you're really gonna really look for is basically um, you'll see this uh, standout um, right here you see users just Aaron and this is only for the Mac so it's not gonna actually go to on your Android device or Windows because it's not gonna read it now what you're gonna do is highlight one of these where it says users just Aaron or whatever users whatever on yours and you're gonna go to um, find and quick find all again I'm on the Mac so it might be different um, so that means it highlights all of them right here as you can see I'll scroll all the way down see right there it highlights it 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, replace it and then you're going to type, um, see this is find what right here at the bottom and then replace it with special two dots slash slash home slash. Now um, once you have typed that go ahead and replace all. So that means it's going to be shorter. Um, the reason why we put special and home because it when you back it up it indicates and finds wherever your Kodi folder is and um, special will be meaning your computer home will be the actual um, hard drive and then it just goes to uh, to it and then it'll set it now make sure you um, save it if you don't save it it's not gonna do anything and then it's uh, gonna revert wrong so as far as that that's all good um, what you want to do is let's say this um, thumbnails is where all your metadata your fan art your everything your little thumbnail for your um, movies and TV shows comes up and the posters and DVDs so if you get info and right now um, I have a clean install so it's only 47 megabyte but if yours is over like a hundred to 300 500 then you're gonna go ahead and delete this um, don't worry it will refresh um, it will create it again on your um, setup and then we're gonna go ahead and go to database and we're gonna take off text 13 the one I have highlighted right now um, this deals with the whole um, not too sure so but Woofsley deleted it as well so I'm trying to um, copy him big ups to him again for creating this tutorial so texture 13 uh, I'm gonna delete it and then after after all that you're all good to go um, gonna you're gonna go to go back to Cody again and then we're gonna go back to where your USB SD card wizard and then you're gonna um, just to make sure go to add-on settings and then make sure your file is wherever you want it to be it'll be the the file will be backup.zip so I recommend you doing it in a folder and go ahead and click OK and click OK click on it and then we're gonna go back up and then full backup and that's basically it now you actually have a file small enough that you could actually um, transfer easier rather than a long file so we're gonna go quit out of that give that a few seconds so the backup file is gonna be um, like this now I highly recommend you putting it on a, a folder so you'll name this one um, Aonox actually Cody Aonox build and you're gonna date it just to make sure you know what date and you're gonna go ahead and put this on there and then uh, transfer it to a, a USB or um, flash drive or whatever you want I highly recommend a USB and that's basically it I'm gonna do another video on restoring the file on a different platform and always don't forget to add XBM Connect to all your social media.